Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, 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 hello. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good morning, Periscopers. Good morning, Joy Thompson. Good morning, Elizabeth, child of God. Good morning, Cartinas. Good morning, Funke. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Olatunji double five, good morning. Green Olive 1969, good morning. And on Facebook, I see Yvonne, good morning. Curly D, Trinidad and Tobago, God bless you. Bishola, God bless you. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Hello, hello, Ogechi, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, that's the right thing to do. Please share with your followers right away and share with your friends on Facebook. Share, just hit the share button. Hello, Helen, thank you for inviting your followers. Joseph Ali, Shegu, Pastor Shegu, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, Saf35, good morning. Thank you for sharing with your followers. Uh, hello, Bukola. Good morning. You keep changing your pictures on Facebook every day. <laughs> That's beautiful. Hallelujah. From Columbus, Ohio. Good morning. I didn't get the name. Hallelujah. Bola Hami. Good morning. Martins. Good morning. Hallelujah. Please share with your friends. Share right away. Richie, share. Good morning. Share. Share, share, share. Elizabeth from Columbus, Ohio. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, Indira. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please share on Facebook. Evangelist Joy, good morning. Share on Facebook. Share on Periscope. Invite your followers. It's going to be an awesome day today. Hallelujah. Let's pray and then we get into it. Father, we say good morning to you. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for watching over us. You are a good God. Your mercies endure it forever. Thy gentleness has made us great. Today, do awesome things in the lives of your people. You always do the best and give the best for the last. On this last working day of this week for many, let it be miracles all the way in Jesus' name. And God's people said, Amen, Amen, Amen. Don't forget our confessions. We've not been taking our confessions. Every time we gather, we have our daily confessions that we take. Uh, many are asking and writing for them. And I just enjoy sending them out to people. And then our healing confessions, many again have written and asked for them. Uh, today we curse the root of sickness. Say that in the name of Jesus. Today I curse the root of sickness and disease. I command all sickness and disease to die in the name of Jesus. Good morning, Catherine. All sickness in your body must die. All sickness, potential sickness, real sickness, hiding sickness, any form of infirmity must die. You must speak against them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of all evil arrows of sickness and disease fired into my body. Any witchcraft sickness sent into my body must die right now in the mighty name of of Jesus. Very important that we keep those confessions going every day. If you have to read it into your phone and play it to yourself every now and then, that will be a wonderful idea. Praise the Lord. All right, today, all week since Monday, we've been talking about hearing God's voice. I hope and pray it's been a blessing to you there on Periscope and there. Hello, Bukola, Bainka, God bless you. And those on Facebook, that there's somebody who just joined us on Periscope. You need to share 
right away there's a number of people who depend on your sharing today because God's word is going to hit them so please if you're on Periscope you need to share Facebook we need to share share right now hello Abiodun God bless you let's share thank you increase to triple seven for inviting your followers Romania thank you for inviting your followers we need to invite our followers on Facebook share hit the share button thank you Elisa Lonzo 1216 thank you for inviting your followers hallelujah glory be to God hallelujah pretty V thank you for sharing on Facebook thank you so much thank you Eugenie Nepia good morning God bless you God bless you thank you for this investment of time We've been looking at hearing the voice of God, and uh, one of the things we must never forget is that hearing the voice of God is our right. It's our right to hear God's voice. EDCMI 1, thank you for inviting your followers. Hearing God's voice is our right. As a child of God, it's your right, it's your entitlement to hear God's voice. Hallelujah. Uh, it's very difficult to live the Christian life without hearing the voice of God. Kila Smith, thank you for inviting your followers. Hallelujah. You must, it's our right, yeah, thank you for typing it up. It's our right to hear God's voice. It's our right to hear God's voice. You must hear God's voice. Remember yesterday we looked at the benefits of hearing God's voice. If you hear God's voice, you hear his, you, you hear, uh, you get a revelation of his will. You get direction, you get instruction, you get encouragement, you get impartation, you get the blessing, you get a commission, you get strategy, you get judgment, you get healing. You get deliverance, you get assurance. Thank you, Joy Thompson, for inviting your followers. Hearing from God as a child of God has tremendous benefits. Tremendous. I don't know how anybody would like to live and just go about, you know, beating about the bush of life. Thank you, Trevor06, for sharing with your followers. I don't know how. You can do that. Chibata, thank you. Good morning. Thank you for sharing. Holy Fire Thelma, thank you for inviting. I'm very particular today that you share on Facebook and you share and invite your followers on Periscope because something is about to drop and I don't want anybody to, if I had my way, I'd have the whole world tuned in right now to this broadcast. It's going to be awesome. It's one of those days that you just hit it and you know that you hit it. RDL 9029, thank you for inviting your followers. DG of Vern 00, thank you for inviting your followers on Periscope. Today I want us to talk about wisdom from God's voice. Wisdom from God's voice. Wisdom from God's voice. Another word for wisdom is strategy. Strategy. Tawana, thank you for inviting your followers on Periscope. Strategy for hearing God's voice. Fumis, thank you for inviting your followers. Uh, Facebookers, let's share, let's share. As somebody who just joined us, share, share, share. Strategy from God's voice. Strategy from God's voice. There's always a way for doing things. So you can call it, good morning, Nancy G., from Blackville, Georgia. Blackville, I wonder where that is. Please, where is that? God bless you, good morning anyways. Thank you for joining us on today. Blackville, Georgia, strategy from God's voice. Hearing God's voice is very critical on the job, in the marketplace, in the corporate system. Hearing God's voice, very important. You need to know which way to go. A person who hears God's voice, thank you, Deborah, for sharing uh, on Facebook. McDonough, oh, Blackville, McDonough, oh, that's, that's not far. 
That's wonderful. I lived in McDonough for seven years. God bless McDonough, Georgia. Hallelujah. Hearing from God's voice, you can, is invaluable. I mean, you can never emphasize it enough. There's always a way for doing things. When, there, when you get strategy from God, it will save you a lot of time. So number one, strategy from God, number one, saves you time. Strategy from God saves you time. Number two, strategy from God saves you a lot of frustration, a lot of frustration, a lot of frustration, but like you are blessed. Thank you. A lot of frustration, a lot of frustration is saved when you hear God's voice. Number three, when you get a strategy from God, it saves you a lot of toiling. Peter toiled all night, caught nothing in Luke chapter 4, and gave him strategy. He said, no, cast your net this way. He started arguing, but eventually he obeyed, and he caught such fish that his boat began to sink. Isn't that something? Strategy from God will save you a lot of frustration, a lot of toiling and beating about the bush. Hallelujah. Strategy from God. Very important. I really appreciate all those who are sharing on Facebook right now. Strategy from God. Oh, he a legbe. God bless you. Tremendous man of God. I have been looking for you. Please inbox, inbox me your number. You are such a great man. My colleague from way, 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 way back. Tremendous man of God. Wow, today is awesome. I told you people. Greet your wife and children. I would love to have a long conversation with you. It's been a long time. Welcome to Command Your Day. For those joining us for the first time, every day at this time, 6.30 in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time, that's 11.30 in the morning in Nigeria, and I believe 11.30 in the morning in the UK or Europe, I'm here commanding the day. So to, today we're talking about strategy from God. One more thing I want to say before we go deeper is that when you get strategy from God, victory becomes cheap. You win so easily. Oh, 10.30 UK, 10.30 in the morning, UK, 11.30 in the morning, Nigeria. Thank you for that, for me. When you hear from God, you win constantly. You win all the time. You're a winner. And there's a winner this morning who is hearing and hearing God's voice. There's nothing like strategy. What is strategy? Wisdom from God. What is strategy? How to do things with the biggest impact, with minimum effort. Maximum results, minimum effort. There's always a way. There's a way to do things. There's a strategy for doing things. Let's look at number one, for example, strategy on how to build. You want to build a house. You want to build Oshimataya. You want to build a church. You want to build a building, you want to build a business, you want to build a corporation. Look at it, Proverbs 24, 3. Proverbs 24, 3, there's a strategy. Somebody watching today, listening, you've been thinking of how to move forward in the vision God gave you. See, the anointing is, is coming on me now, stronger. Uh, you've been looking for wisdom. Thank you for your stars and your hearts and Facebook and Periscope, all those things matter. It shows that you're listening. Hello, Joshi. Good morning, Hong Kong. God bless you. And so strategy, you have to, don't, don't just start doing things. Don't start building, I want to build a business, I want to build a house, I want to build, no, no, no. You've got to wait on the Lord until you get strategy. Hallelujah. It's your first time, Danny Rowe. Hello, Jacksonville, Florida. Glad to have you, Dan, Demi. You are blessed. You are blessed. You're going to have a good, great, awesome time today. You've got to wait on the Lord. For they that wait on the Lord 
shall renew their strength. You've got to wait until God, don't just jump up and start building. Proverbs 24 verse 3, through wisdom and house is an house builded. And by understanding it is established. Hallelujah. Proverbs 24, 3. Through wisdom or through strategy, a house is built. You just don't build. There's strategy. There's a building plan. There's budgeting. You must have a vision. Write the vision. Make it plain. You must have a strategy. Somebody on Periscope, I'm talking to you today by the Spirit of God. You must have a strategy. Hallelujah. How do, you, I, do I build? And the best way to get the strategy is to wait and hear from God. God will give you a strategy. Look at the next one. You're dealing in spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. You're dealing with enemies. You're dealing with opposition. You're dealing with um, difficulties, difficult people. You're in a difficult circumstance. You, you, you're dealing with things that you, you're just overwhelming. Look at it, 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 23. 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 23. There's always a way for doing these things. There's always a way for doing these things. There's always a way for winning warfare. When you're in spiritual warfare, don't use the same method, the same weapons that worked before. There's always a method that will give you victory with little effort, maximum results, maximum impact, little wear and tear strategy. I, I hear people all the time say, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I have a difficult boss. I have somebody tough. I'm dealing with difficult people. I don't know how. No, no, don't say you don't know. Never get, write this down. Never get overwhelmed by your circumstance. Good morning, done all well. God bless you. Never get overwhelmed. Never just say, oh, well, you know, I quit. No, wait on the Lord. Seek his voice that you may hear. Thank you for putting it up. That you may hear his voice and get strategy on how to get, get easy and cheap victory. In Second Samuel chapter 5, verse 23, David inquired of the Lord. He inquired, Vance Nelson 20, God bless you. He inquired, and the Lord said, Thou shalt not go up, but fetch a compass behind them, and come, up, come upon them over against the mulberry trees. God said, No, this time don't go against them face to face. Go around. The enemy is facing you this way. God says, no, don't come against them face to face. Go around about them and come through the back. Hallelujah. It may take you a longer time, but God, I can see them. No, no. God said, no, go around. I remember when the king went to see prophet Elisha. He said, get bow and arrow. And he put his hand upon him, on, his, on the king's hand. He said, open the window and shoot and keep shooting. Uh, you need strategy on how to deal with that warfare situation. Maybe on the job, maybe you're having attacks at night, or you're having uh, uh, you know, opposition on the job, or you're dealing with difficult people. I'm praying for somebody now that God will open your eyes and show you the weakness of your enemies. Hmm show you the weakness of your enemies. Hallelujah. So that you can go in and just get the victory. I speak victory over you. You will no more turn your back toward your enemies. Your enemies from now will flee from you. 10,000 10, on your right hand, 10,000 on your left hand. With your eyes you will see the victory, the rejoicing, the breaking forth, the breakthrough, the power of God on your behalf. Say amen, somebody. Victory, cheap victory. You don't have to win and you're worn out and you're tired and you're spent and you're just exhausted from spiritual warfare. Honey, spiritual warfare is draining. It's tiring. 
divina, receive it in the name of Jesus. It's, you fight, you see people in the hospital, some of them feel like quitting. You ask them why, and they say, oh, they're just tired. It's not often sickness that kills people. It's tiredness from fighting and trying to hold on. None of our family members shall die before their time. None shall quit. None shall be drained. We speak strength to those watching and listening who are tired, who are drained, who are worn out. Somebody on Facebook right now, receive it. You will not quit. A cheap victory will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Cheap victory. Go ahead, receive it right now. Cheap victory. You will not be drained. You will not be exhausted. You will be, not be out of breath by the time you... No, no. The Lord will fight for you. And you will hold your peace. Exodus 14, 14. One of my favorite passages. Come on now. Put that thumbs up on Facebook. I'm seeing you. That is a sign that you're receiving it. Glory be to God. Put a heart up on Facebook. Do something. Get busy. Let's put... Shamota, God is contending for somebody. Hallelujah. The Lord will fight for you. You will hold your peace. Why? So you will not be worn out. So that you can enjoy the victory. So that you can enjoy the breakthrough. So you can enjoy the, 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 the rejoicing. After Sarah had uh, her baby, Isaac, she lived. She had him at 90. She died at 127. Hallelujah. So for, she lived for another 37 years, thereabouts. Over 30 years she lived until this boy called Isaac was grown. His mother died when he was 37. And for three years he was lonely. He got married at 40. And he had his first child at 60. For 20 years he was fighting. His father had his first child at 100, he had his first child at 60. You can imagine the gap for 100 years. Hallelujah, if I'm correct. Hallelujah. You need to rest and let God fight for you. The Lord will fight for you. On the job, say amen. I want to prophesy. I told you today we're going to be prophesying. God will fight for you. God will fight for you. God will fight for you. I'll say it three more times. God will fight for you. God will fight for you. God will fight for you. God will fight for you on the job, in the city, in the field, in the day, in the night. God will take over your warfare. God will contend with them who contend with you. God will silence your haters. God will prepare that table in the presence of your enemies. And they cannot stop it. They cannot stop you. I declare you unstoppable on this day today. You're unstoppable. Nothing shall hinder you. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I say glory be to God. God will fight for you. Warfare. Your warfare is ended. <coughs> Excuse me. Your warfare is ended. Your season of joy and rejoicing begins now. Hallelujah. Let me have the paper. Hallelujah. Your season of rejoicing begins now. Glory be to God forevermore. Glory be to God forevermore. You fought and fought and fought. Now God takes over your battles. Hallelujah. God takes over your battles from now on. I'm prophesying it to somebody that the Lord will fight for you. How do you fight? You don't even know how many enemies you have. You don't know where they are. You don't know their strength. You don't know their capabilities. You don't know the instruments and weapons they have. But the Lord who sees and hears and knows all, knows where they are and will give you strategy. It's not often that you fight. In some cases, God may just say to you, just be praising me. Second Chronicles 2020, Second Chronicles 2020, and God went and fought against the enemies of Judah, and they were praising him. In Joshua chapter 6, God told them, just go around and just be praising God, and God gave them victory. I pray for you one more time that God will give you victory, especially these dreams 
that occur at night. There's a woman, every time you get pregnant, you see something red, red dress, red palm oil, red palm fruit, red gown, red shoe, red car, something red. And then the next morning after you've had that dream, you begin to bleed and you lose that pregnancy. As the Lord God of heaven liveth, it will not happen again. The last time you saw it is the last time you will ever see it. You will get pregnant. There will be conception. There will be pregnancy. There will be safe delivery. That red card spirit that goes to flush out pregnancy out of your womb, at the sound of your amen, I command it to die in the name of Jesus. It may not be pregnancy in the womb. It may be a breakthrough. It may be a miracle. It may be something imminent <clears throat> that God wants to do in your life. And the enemy will come show something red or come attack you. And the next day there is an instant abortion. No more. No more shall you mis miscarry your blessing. No more shall you miscarry. And people will promise you. And then they change their minds. It, it is a pattern. I'm speaking to somebody. It's a pattern. Always a pattern. People promise you, but then something happens and they don't keep their word. As the Lord liveth, you're free from that curse and that pattern that is demonic and satanic in the name of Jesus. Let me just give you a moment to praise the Lord right now. God is doing something awesome. We give you praise. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You also need strategy in marriage. You need strategy in marriage. I'm telling you. There's so many people who will come and say, God said you're my wife. God said you're my husband. You need strategy. Why? Hello, Bell, Bellbeck Ninja. Your first time on Periscope. You're welcome. You need strategy for marriage. Who to marry? Because there's a lot of people who will come and say, Thus said the Lord. You need strategy on who to marry. You need strategy on who to engage in a conversation in that direction. Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 18.22. Proverbs 18.22. Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Whoso findeth a wife, whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. If you find a wife and his warfare from the day you meet and is fighting cats and dogs, that's not a wife. Whoso findeth a husband, findeth a good thing also, if I may add. Hallelujah. Yes, glory be to God. You, 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 you may pray and say, choose him for me. No, no. God will not choose for you. God will lead you. Listen, ladies, and don't forget, next week I'm going to be talking about who not to marry. All of next week, who not to marry. And this is for the benefit of those who are single spinsters, single mothers, single fathers, bachelors, those who are looking and believing God. It comes with that some are successful, some are CEOs, some are students. There are many people who need wisdom on who not to marry. Hallelujah. And then in exposing who not to marry, you will be able to locate who to marry. But you need wisdom. A strategy. Whoso findeth, findeth a wife. Whoso findeth a husband. It's a process. It's a searching. It's a praying. It's a waiting process. Hallelujah. You just don't marry by the look mm -mm, of how they look and how cute and how wonderful. No, you need strategy. You need strategy. Who not to marry? And somebody's excited because I, I, we may just do 10 men not to marry and 10 women not to marry or 20 men not to marry, 20 women not to marry. You need to let your friends know it's going to be awesome next week from Monday. Hallelujah. You need strategy. You may just, when God leads you, there's peace. The blessing of God makes rich with no sorrow added. Proverbs 10, 22, the blessing of God. It is God who brings men and women together 
to marry. I'm getting preachy right there now. Because Adam was sleeping when God brought Miss Eve to him. When he woke up by the spirit, by human, by divine strategy, he recognized her and said, this is now my bone of bone and flesh of flesh. Who told him that? By the wisdom of God. You need wisdom. Even if you don't want a husband or wife, how about your children? How about your grandchildren? How about your neighbor's children? How about your relatives? They need wisdom. I was talking to a young man last week. He just got married. His wife is pregnant. And he was saying to me, oh, I said, how is married life? He said, oh, Pastor, I didn't know it was like this. A lot of warfare and contention. I said, what? You should be in your honey in the moon right now. You're already fighting. He said, oh, she's always screaming at him and yelling and just getting upset. I said, brother, that's not the way to lay the foundation. Through wisdom, a city is built. Khalid, you're not even six months, you're fighting and she's screaming and yelling at you. <laughs> oh, glory. So next week, I'm going to show you the strategy, things to look for and the way to move things forward. Okay, you also need strategy when you hear God's voice. We're talking about hearing God's voice. Hello, uh, Kunle Kuku. You need strategy in how to recover what you've lost. You need strategy. You need God's voice when you've lost something. Hallelujah. When you lose something, you need God's strategy. First Samuel 30, verse 8. 1 Samuel 30, verse 8. And I'm speaking to somebody who has lost something. You've lost money. You've lost relationships. You've lost a connection. Hello, Lord Pepper Maroney. God bless you on Faith, Faith, Periscope. You've lost connections. I'm speaking to somebody who is grieving and mourning because you've lost an anointing. You've lost your prayer life. Something you have lost is precious to you. You are hurting and saying, oh, I wish that I could recover it. God is speaking to me to speak to you that you're going to recover it. You're going to recover it. It's not lost. You will get it back. Uh, excuse me, Facebook. Let me get this camera properly situated. You will recover it, saith the Lord. You will recover it. Hallelujah. You're going to get it back. David went to fight, came back. They took his wives, took his children Everything he, lost, he had was burnt down. He went to seek strategy from God. Come on, somebody. He went to seek strategy. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Because we always want to run. We always want to speak. We always want to fight. We always want to jump in and do something. God said, Mm-mm. And he said, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them. God spoke to him, and without fail, recover all. Ooh, my, my, my. Without fail, recover all. All, all, all means all. God spoke to him, Pursue, and overtake them. You will recover all. And it was tough. David was weeping. He had wept and cried. He was worn out. He was drained. He was tired. He was exhausted. He didn't know what to do, but he heard God's voice. I'm talking about the benefit of hearing God's voice. Strategy. God said to him, strategy. You will go after them. Go after them. And I'm speaking to somebody. Go after that which you've lost in prayer, in worship, in speaking the word of God. In confessing the scriptures, go after them by your faith. Employ your faith. Engage your faith. Go after that. Speak the word of God by your seed, by your offering, by your tithing, by your sacrificial giving, by your evangelism, by kingdom investments. Go after them for you will recover all. But before you recover, you've got to pursue. Make up your mind. Pursue, yes, engage your faith. Pursue, stand up, get up, get going, get busy. Don't quit, don't take no for an answer. 
after you have pursued them, you will find them and you will recover all. You will overtake them, pursue, overtake, recover, pursue, overtake, recover, P-O-R. Pursue, overtake, recover all. Pursue, overtake, recover all. Pursue on your knees. Pursue by the word of God. Hello, Derry. Good morning. Pursue, you will recover all. P-O-R. Pursue, overtake, recover all. P-O-R-A. Pora. Pursue, overtake, recover all. Pora. That's just a new word God gave me right now. Pursue, overtake, recover all. All P O R A Pora, go on a Pora pursuit. Go on a Pora exercise. Go on a Pora drive. You will recover all. Go on your knees. Open up your mouth. Seek God for strategy. Is it worth my time? Should I go for it? Is it important? Is it worth it? How should I go after it? Give me strategy. Give me instruction, O oh God. Speak to me. Show me the way to go. Because you've sat down for a long time, David, weeping till you couldn't weep. And then all of your boys want to stone you. People are blaming you. People are laughing at you. People are wondering what is wrong with you. But you need to go back in your secret place and go into the place where you hear God. And God is speaking to me. To say to you, Pora, pursue, overtake, recover all. I preached this message for over 20 years, never saw Pora until right now. And it's because of somebody who needs desperately to hear from. Is it worth it? Should I engage in the battle, in the warfare? Should I fight for it? The Lord is saying, Yes, go on your Pora season. This is your Pora season. Pursue, overtake, recover all. Get into prayer, get into intercession, get into confession, get into fasting. You fasted before, do it one more time because there's a lot to over to recover. David recovered all. Pursue, overtake, recover all. Not recover some, recover all. May the anointing of Pora come upon you right now. Ha ha ha. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Recover all. You've lost so much. Recover all. Your hair will grow again. Samson, recover all. Recover your money. Recover your, Nobody's receiving it right now. Recover your money. Recover your name. Recover your reputation. Recover your anointing. Recover your calling. Recover the grace of God. Recover your favor. Recover your prayer life. Recover your intercessory. Remember how you used to go tell everybody about Jesus and something died. Recover that grace. Recover that anointing. Right now, in the name of Jesus, recover all. Recover it in Jesus' mighty name. Recover all. You will not lose it. You're going to take it all back. Everything the devil stole from you. Somebody say, I take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back right now. Take it back. I don't know what you lost, but God knows. Take it back right now. How do I take it back? Put up a heart, put up a star, put up something, type amen, whatever you need to do. Pora is your word for this season. Pora. Hallelujah. You need strategy from God's voice on how to recover all. You need strategy on God's voice, from God's voice, for your finances. Hallelujah. Finances. Yes, keep taking it back. I see you. I'm in agreement with every one of you that God will do exceeding abundantly above all you may ask or think. You need to you some of you need your strength, your vitality. You can't pray long. You can you can pray. You just want to pray, but you, no, no. Recover your prayer life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Some of you, your joy, you need to recover it. In the name of Jesus, take it all back. All back. All back. Glory be to God. 
People on Facebook, are, they are serious today, I'm telling you. Periscopers, these people are serious. You get, you get serious now. Uh -huh. I see Periscopers, they are jumping into it. Take it all back. Just type all or do something. Uh -huh. Glory be to God. Let's keep going. You need strategy from God's voice concerning your finances. It's not by working 18 hours every day. Oh, glory be to God. It's not by working and strength and exertion. Peter was a hardworking man. He fished all night and caught nothing. In Matthew 17, 27, Matthew 17, 27, God gives strategy on how to get money. Very simple. Notwithstanding, lest we shall offend them, go thou to the sea and cast down a hook, and take up the fish that first cometh up, and when thou hast opened its mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money that take and give unto them from me and thee. Go fishing. You want money? Go fishing. Yeah, somebody screaming, recovery. God bless you, Crystal. I agree with you in Jesus' name. You want money? Go fishing. You want money? Go to the water. Go to the sea. The sea here is talking about humanity, human beings. Go fishing. Go witnessing. Go singing. I know a lady who got a husband. She went to sing at a wedding, and God, and the man saw her and just went crazy, and they're married, they have children today. Go fishing. Look, go to the sea. First strategy, go to the sea. Two, go fishing. Go fishing. Yeah, Pastor, but I don't know how to fish. We're not talking of physical fishing. Engage in kingdom activity. Go to the sea. Go to where people are fine. Engage with human beings. You are a human being. Use your gift. Use your talent. Use your anointing. Get busy for God. Jesus sent Peter. Go to the sea to take a hook. Listen, folks. Take a hook. It didn't say take a net. Take a hook. When you want to catch fish with money in its mouth, you don't need a net. You need a hook. <laughs> One fish. That's all you need. You don't need a net to go catch a lot of fishes and then you begin to sort and open this mouth. No, open, no, no. A hook. Jesus was specific. Stay with the strategy. Go with a hook and take up the fish. Fish, not fishes. The fish, the first. One fish. But you've got to take it up. Many of us are waiting for people to take it up for us. No. That convert, that person you're witnessing to may be that fish. Your neighbor may be that fish. Your colleague may be that fish. One fish. One hook. But you're the one to take it out. You're the one to harvest it. Well, I've been inviting them to church. They, they, they didn't come. No. Go fishing. Go north. Go south. Go east. Go west. Go to the sea. Should I stand on what side of the sea? Jesus didn't say so. Go to the sea. Whether you stand on the left side, the right side, the front. Go to the sea. Get busy for Jesus. Hallelujah. One fish, one hook, but you've got to take it up. It will invite, it require some effort from you, some work. Hallelujah. Open its mouth. You're the one to open its mouth and find a piece of money. I mean, he gave him all the secret, but he said, you will have to go. You go, Peter. One coin will take care of my tax and your tax, but you go. They asked Peter, does Jesus not pay tax? Jesus didn't worry. He didn't pray. Listen, prayer does not bring money. What? Prayer does not bring money. Fasting does not bring money. You want money to come to you? Yes. 
get busy. Go to the sea. Get involved with people. I'll say it again, Kila. You want money? Yeah. Get a strategy from God. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Prayer doesn't bring money. Fasting doesn't bring money. Stop wasting your time. I have a friend. Well, I had a friend. I haven't heard from him in a long time. He, he one day he was fasting for 70 days. No food. 70 days. On the 68th day, God came from him and said to him, uh, what are you doing? He said, I'm fasting. Fasting for what? Say, I'm fasting for money. God said, no, you don't fast for money. You get strategy on what to do for money. He changed his prayers. Of course, his fast ended immediately. God gave him a strategy. Go and sow such a seed. Go here and get prayer. Many of you, what you're dealing with is not the spirit of poverty, but the spirit of curse. You need strategy. There was a man who got strategy on how to sell peanuts. Peanuts. God gave a Christian man. God gave him strategy and said, make peanuts. Instead of using sugar to fry them or prepare them, use honey instead. That's how he became a multi-millionaire by the strategy of God. Ask God questions. I need help. What am I missing? It may just be something ridiculous. I know of a lady, she may be watching in London, England. When she got there, God gave her strategy. All she did was cook rice. Rice? Cook rice, put it in a cooler, and she was hawking and going from place to place selling rice in a cooler. Today she's, uh, she's blessed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Strategy. I pray for somebody that between now and the next 30 days, in the next 30 days, that God will open your eyes and show you the sea and give you the instruction and give you the hook and tell you and give you, uh -huh, somebody said made a thousand dollars selling socks. Socks. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Hallelujah. Hello, McLarry. God bless you. Selling socks. You need strategy. It's not by strength. Shall a man prevail? No. There are people who sell sand. They're making money. Some are selling water. They're making money in millions of dollars. Some are selling uh, leaves. Some are selling straws. Some are selling uh, most ridiculous things. But they're making money. And they are laughing all the way to the bank and laughing out of the bank. Don't settle on working. Listen, write this down. You can never be a millionaire working for people. You can never be a millionaire working for people. People are not going to pay you enough money so you can be richer than them. Hallelujah. You need strategy. You need wisdom. Glory be to God. Let me hurry up and close. You need to hear the voice of God in order to prophesy. No one can prophesy except God gives them the... If you prophesy on your own, you're speaking, confessing. And that's wonderful. But nobody can prophesy to you greater than you. You're the prophet of your own destiny. In Ezekiel 11, Ezekiel 11, verse 1 to 4, Ezekiel 11, verse 1 to 4, God spoke to the prophet and said, prophesy against them, prophesy against them, prophesy against them. He, he saw some people... The, uh, he saw Jezaniah, he saw Palatiah, he saw the princes of the people. And then he said to him, son of man, these are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel 
in this city. He said, don't go against them. Don't go by litigation. Don't go by rioting. No. Speak. Prophesy. When something is going wrong, prophesy. When something is not going right, prophesy. When something is wrong, prophesy. You go to your shop, prophesy before customers come. You go to your business, prophesy. You go to your job, prophesy. Speak what you desire. Hallelujah. Don't wait. Speak it. Prophesy. My church will prosper. My pastor will do great. But speak it. Don't wait. Speak it. Prophesy. That is the strategy God is giving to somebody watching right now. You don't like the way things are going? Prophesy. Speak it. Keep speaking it. Hallelujah. I am blessed. I'm anointed. I'm favored. I'm selected. I'm not going down. I'm going up. Pro I prophesy abundance into my life. Prophesy it. Speak it all the time. Prophesy the falling of every Pharaoh. Let your Pharaoh drown in the Red Sea. And I prophesy right now, if you're ready to receive it, that all your pursuers shall be pursued in the name of Jesus. All those who have sworn to destroy you, God will cause them to destroy themselves. You're not saying amen, so let me stop and move on. Number seven, you can get, if you're ready to say amen, I'll come back and prophesy right now. All your destroyers shall be destroyed. All those who plan to consume you shall be consumed. All those pursuing you for your sake, they shall fall. Hallelujah. All those who have sworn to destroy you and your father's house, God will silence them. In the next 24 hours, you will look for them. You will not find them. I said you will look for them. You will not find them. Every opposition, every opposer, before you, that Goliath that has stood there and is such a gigantic, humongous enemy that you don't even know how to deal with, God will give you strategy. God gave David strategy. One simple stone with a slingshot, simple one piece of rock, slingshot, no missiles, no shooting, no arrows, no bow, no boxing, no hitting. No, a simple, ridiculous instrument brought down the giant. In the name of Jesus, I prophesied over you that your pursuers will go down for your sake. Say amen now. Those who have sworn that you will lose your job, they will go and you will take the job, you will take their spot. Hallelujah. Those expecting that you die, they will go first. Say amen. That's all. Wow. Yes, you are. yes, sir. I'm prophesying it. Because the world is very wicked. And you need a prophetic voice to rise up and in agreement with you on your behalf to contend. Because these enemies are stronger than you. But God will fight for you. God will join with you. Your enemies will go down. Your haters will, will become mocked. Your mockers will be disgraced. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. They, we are prophesying that those who are doing evil against you, some of them you don't even know, from your father's house, your mother's house, your hometown, for your sake they shall go. Hallelujah. I said they will go. With your eyes you will see them. With your ears you will hear that you will look and not see them no more. They will vanish. Say amen to that. I said they will vanish. Say amen to that. They will, you will look for them. You will see them no more. Those pursuing you, God will make a way for you. You will cross that Red Sea and they will drown. Hallelujah. I said they will drown. Those waiting to hear bad news on how you went bankrupt, on how you quit, on how you gave up, on how you left town, on how you shut down your ministry and you shut down your church. Somebody, God is, tell, is telling me to tell you, you're not going to close that church. You're not going to close that ministry. The foundation is Jesus. And he's going to give you victory. Something will change. Something will break. You will not quit. You will not leave town. You're not going to leave that man 
for that woman. No, 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 no. He is your husband. He is your bone of bone and flesh of flesh. God will silence that wicked woman who has been doing obia, juju, witchcraft against you. I don't know. I feel like prophesying to somebody on Periscope. Every witchcraft against you shall backfire against those who sent it. Somebody on Facebook just jumped in and received it. Come on now. All witchcraft against you on Periscope, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're watching or listening, shall go back to those who sent it. Well, from now on, when they call your name for evil, thunder will answer for you. When they call your name for evil, God will answer for you. Hallelujah. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Let's close. Oh, wow. Time is gone. And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon thee, and thou shalt prophesy with them, and shall be turned into another man. I want to close with that. That from now on, there's an anointing on you. There's the Spirit of God on you. There's an unction on you. There's a, a new something on you. You will prophesy. Go as you go to work. Prophesy over your business. Prophesy over your home. Declare what you want, Esther. The king has extended his scepter to you and is asking you, what do you want? Hallelujah. Speak it. I told you yesterday, speak big things. Glory be to God. I said, glory be to God. Pro Father, I pray for an anointing for prophecy, to speak what they want, to speak what you're leading. I, sh I pray that somebody's ears be open to hear you. I pray for strength and courage for some. You will not quit. You will not quit because of what people are saying. You're not going to throw in the towel and run like a coward. No! I speak strength unto you. I speak strength into your spirit, man. That you will go forth and fight and declare, Thus saith the Lord, O ye giant, come down. O ye mountain, become level ground. O ye valley, be lifted up. O ye crooked path, become straight. O ye rough road, become smooth in the name of Jesus. I prophesy abundance into your life. As you close this working week on this Friday, let mercy of God visit you. Let the mercy of God clothe you. Let the wisdom of God clothe you. Let your spiritual ears be open. May you hear from God. May God lead you. May God order your steps. May your toiling be over. May your sweating be over. Hallelujah. Go to your job and prophesy. Go to your business. Prophesy. Lay hands on your car and prophesy. Do something. Pursue. Overtake. Recover all. It's your season of Pora. It's your day of Pora. P-O-R-A. Pursue. Overtake. Recover all. Pursue. Overtake. Recover all. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him right there. Praise him right there. Somebody, praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Father, we praise you. We give you glory and honor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you want to contact me, send me an email. You can do so. Uh, 404, send me your email. I want to send you the confessions. 404-935-2878. That's my phone number. 404-935-2878. Go to my website, glorytoglorychurch.org. You can inbox me on Facebook. Don't try and call because there's so much to do. Just send me. I quickly reply you if you need uh, the confession, the prosperity confession, the healing confession, the daily confession. Hello, Neville. <laughs> Just joining you know, I'll send it to you. Hallelujah. 404-935-2878. If you're not born again, 2878, not 2478, 2878. If you're not born again, please say this after me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I'm a sinner. Forgive my sins. Cleanse me with your blood. I receive you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. Write my name in the book of life. Satan, I reject you. I renounce you 
in Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer, you're born again. Congratulations. The Lord bless you and keep you. Ask God to lead you to a church that is a living church, a church he has for you. God bless you. I pray that God will prosper you uh, and just cause your ways to become smooth and straight and clear. In Jesus' name, if you've been blessed, please let us know. It's an encouragement to us to hear your testimony and know that you are being blessed. Amen, amen, amen. My email address, kingofisrael14 at gmail.com. kingofisrael14 at gmail.com. If you want to contact me, if God laid on you, every Friday from next week, we'll be raising an offering. Every Friday will be offering day. I'm going in the order of Kenneth Copeland. Every Friday will be offering day from next week. Hallelujah. So today, if you want to sow a seed, go to glorytoglorychurch.org and send a message or send your seed and the Lord will bless you. Hallelujah. Next week, Monday, I'll be teaching on who not to marry. So if you have a child, if whoever, a lot of people need it in the body of Christ. Go forth and win have a great weekend. I will see you on Monday. Tomorrow, Saturday, I will not be here. I will not be here on Sunday morning. So go. I'm going to keep it tidy only Monday to Friday on Periscope and Facebook. Monday to Friday so you can take your Saturday off. Go do what you need to do. Same thing, you can go to church on Sunday. If you want to join me on Sunday, you can go to Glory House Media, Glory House Media on Facebook, Glory House on Periscope and join us. Now, let me say this before we go. I need you to also go and like my page, Pastor Chuzi. Look for it on Facebook and like it because the way we're going, uh, my uh, friends on Facebook, I think they have a limit of 5,000. So we need to open up the uh, professional page called, you go to Pastor Chusey, you look for it and like it. That way you'll get a notification whenever I come on. Glory be to God. Thank you so much. Uh, like the page, yes. Go to Facebook, like Pastor Chusey. Hallelujah. God bless you, Patricia. Let me greet some of my good family, friends on social media. Ogichi, God bless you. Uh, have a great weekend. I will be tomorrow. I'll be in Phoenix, Arizona tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to be able to stream. I would love to if the pastor so feels and is possible to be able to do it. Hi, you're Mexican. God bless you. Mexican, God bless you. You're blessed. You're special. Hallelujah. I'll be back on Monday for Command Your Day uh, tomorrow morning. Depends on how it goes in Phoenix. Never been there. We may just send you. So put on your notification on your phone so that when I come on, you can always get a beep or a sound or a vibe or something that I'm on. Amen. Sunday, go to your church, support your pastor, take your tithe to your church. You need, your church needs you. Amen. And God bless you your first time. On Periscope, thank you so much. And yes, please, we look forward to seeing you again. He promised to be back. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye. Enjoy your day and keep winning. God bless you, Periscope. Facebook, God bless you. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Richard Henderson just joined. Tyo Martins just joined. <laughs> Adesola, you just joined. Uh, we're rounding up. We're about to go, but you can just share or click on it and go and hear it from the beginning. Thank you, Darren. It was awesome today. Praise the Lord to God. Be the glory. And God's people said amen.